Hi guys, 18 Dab here and welcome to this match preview for Saturday's League 2 fixture. It's Doncaster Rovers versus Sutton United. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this match preview. Doncaster Rovers versus Sutton United this Saturday at the Eco Power Stadium. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you very much for supporting the channel. If you're new to the channel, this is the format that we go through match previews in. We look at the previous meetings between the two clubs, current form in all competitions, player profile, I choose a Rovers player to take a look at. I give my opinion on the opponents one to watch, but you know your club much better than what I do. So please, in the comments down below, let me know who you think should be the one to watch for Sutton United. And then there's three predictions to finish the video off. Predict the team lineup thanks to FanHub, the prediction league table with me and my family, and then my score prediction for the upcoming fixture. So without further ado, let's get into previous meetings. So Doncaster and Sutton have only faced off, from what I can see, two times in our history uh, Rovers coming out on top once and Sutton coming out on top once as well and those two meetings were in the 99-2000 season down in the National League um, and it was two 1-0 home victories so yeah 1-0 defeat for Donny away from home and then a 1-0 win so honours even in our history if we have played each other more please let me know in the comments down below uh, they're the only two games that I could find between the two teams so literally very little history to base this fixture on current form as well we opened both our season our league two campaigns with a draw rovers drawing nil nil at bradford sutton drawing one one at home to newport and for me the rovers i think it's an acceptable way to start the campaign against title contenders bradford i think we had to dig in deep. There was plenty of controversy in a very early tackle by Liam Ravenhill, which has split opinions across the fan base. I still think it was probably worthy of a yellow card. A lot of fans saying that it's worthy of a red. Personally, I think he'd won the ball. Yes, there's a follow through, um, but I think Osa Davy has, has bottled the challenge, which has made him come out worse. But in the, once again, in the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on that tackle. I know that it has split opinions. Um, but then the Bradford fans were, were pretty much baying for blood and Lee Tomlin stepped up and was the pantomime villain. Uh, a silly red card to put our backs against the wall and our game plan of soaking up pressure and then hitting on the counter had disappeared by that point. Um, and it was just backs against the wall for 55 minutes, but we stood firm, uh, defended well, were really difficult to break down. I think we frustrated Bradford as well. I think if, this was last season that I was talking about this fixture. Um, we'd have crumbled and potentially been beat 3, 4, 5 nil. So I think it steps in the right direction. I'm looking forward to this game against Sutton. So hopefully tactically slightly different, but Sutton is a tough team to play. They did very well last season. Sutton, this is their second season in the Football League after winning promotion in the 2020-21 season with a game to spare. A fantastic first season in the league with an 8th place finish, only missing out on playoffs by one point. So it's not going to be an easy task beating Sutton um, on Saturday. The start of the season with a fairly even home draw against Newport County with Bajil scoring for Sutton and Bogle scoring for Newport County. So they'll be looking to get their first three points of the season as well. Moving on to player profile, I'm going to touch upon this individual from Saturday, Lee Tomlin, 33 years old. And for me, he adds a bit of class in the midfield, over 500 career appearances. Um, previous clubs include Cardiff, Bristol City, Warsaw and Bournemouth. And when we signed him, the excitement around the fan base was, was increased. Uh, but I think he's shown... The negative side of his game on Saturday with a stupid, stupid red card. You'd expect seeing things like that from one of the younger lads, uh, but yeah, he's 33 years old. He was acting like a three year old and really frustrating. Look, as it we didn't lose the game, and um, I think if we'd have lost the game, a lot of a lot of hate and abuse might have been thrown Lee Tomlin's way for, the, for his actions. Um, in fairness, he did get his foot stood on but very theatrical wasn't it um, if you've not seen it please try and find 
a video of it on, on Twitter or social media somewhere. Um, kicks the ball away once, rightfully gets a yellow card. Kicks the ball away a second time and he's very lucky not to get a yellow card for that. And then one of the Bradford players comes over, stands on his foot, gives him a little dig in the kidney. Uh, Lee Tomlin throws himself to the ground um, and then pushes the player away on his leg. And I think that is what the referees give a second yellow for. I'm not 100% sure. But the fact is, 500 career appearances, 33 year old, should know better, should have should have just stepped away from, from the situation after getting that first yellow card. So hopefully this has brought him down to earth a little bit and we don't see any of that in upcoming games because he is a very good player and I think it could be the difference for us being successful this season or not. On to the opponent one to watch, I've gone with Omar Bougil. Um, 28 years old, centre forward, big lad, uh, could cause us problems on Saturday if we don't contain him. Uh, one appearance this season and one goal in the first, in the opening game of the season. And it was a decent finish. Um, the ball's come back off the crossbar and he's had to adjust his body, he's kind of twisted and, and volleyed it in. So a decent finish and for me, one to watch on Saturday. But like I said, you know your club much better than what I do. So if you think there's somebody else, let me know in the comments down below. Moving on to the predicted team lineup, this is thanks to FanHub. If you've not downloaded the app yet, please go ahead and do so. Loads of new features to get your team stuck into. Uh, I do have a golden ticket if you want it. There's two users remaining. It's 18D-DAI. So you download the app, pop that in, and you'll skip the queue. And for me, I use it more for the predicted team lineup. And for Saturday, I've gone with the following. Mitchell in goal, Noel, Williams, Olowu, and Maxwell. I think that was a very solid back four um, against Bradford. Midfield free of Biggins, Clayton and Ravenhill. Obviously no Lee Tomlin after his red card. And hopefully we see Tommy Rowe back. He had a bit of a twinge in his neck. So hopefully he's back for Saturday. I've put him out on the left. Kyle Hurst on the right and George Miller up top on his own. So that's the starting 11 that I'm going with. Hopefully it's enough to get us three points. On to the predictions league table. So if you're new to this, me and the family predict the scoreline for every single league game. Uh, if we get the scoreline spot on, we get three points. If we get the outcome of the game right, but not the scoreline, we get one point. If we get completely wrong, we get no points. And me and my dad went with draws, but none went with a nil-nil draw. Chris and Max went with Rovers wins. So the table nice and early looks like this. Me and my dad off of the mark with a point each. Chris and Max joint bottom on no points. So keep tuned and you'll see this progress as the season goes on. And that takes me on to my score prediction for this fixture. And... As I say, I think it's going to be a very tough game. Uh, Sutton did very well last season. I don't think they'll have like a second season syndrome from looking at them on Saturday. Who knows? Oh, it's very early in the season. Um, but yeah, I don't think we can underestimate them as a team. So we've got to be on it Saturday. I think we will be if we can defend like we defended against Bradford um, and keep 11 men on the pitch and utilise Miller's attacking threat. I think we could come away with the three points and I'm going to put my neck on the line. I'm going with a Rovers win, two goals to one. And that's where I'm going to leave this video. If you've enjoyed it, please stick a big thumbs up on it for us, please. Comments in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.